Hello, and welcome back to Danganronpa. So, when we previously played, we completed the whole story mode, and we have unlocked a new school mode, as you see here. So, this is the what if simulation type play mode. So, whatever that means, I'm not sure. We're going to check it out and see what all is involved. So, let's hop in. Thrills, chills, kills! Okay, so what is it? Dengen Academy? Enchanting Dengen Academy. Purely prismatic souls. <laughs> okay. We'll do it in English. Alright, the massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. This sounds familiar. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope Speak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student can enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students was me. It's our good friend Makoto. But I can't just stand around here in front of the school forever, right? New students are supposed to meet in the main hall at 8 a.m. That's not for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. So yeah, this intro sounds very familiar. I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before. I think we've done it at least once before. And I took my first step toward the main hall. But... What's going to happen? Uh-oh. Huh? As soon as I stepped foot into the main hall, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion, melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And then... Hmm... Hey, um... Oh, well, we know each other now, I guess. Makoto, are you okay? Huh? Are you for real? What? Were you trying to escape into your own reality? It's not like any of us know what's going on, either. Oh, um, sorry. <laughs> There's no need to apologize. Given the situation, it's understandable. That's right. For some reason, I went unconscious as soon as I stepped into the main hall. And when I woke up, I was in a classroom. The windows were all blocked off by these weird metal plates. But it wasn't just the classroom. As it turns out, all of us who'd gathered there had had our stuff taken away, and we were locked inside the school. As we stood around, an announcement came on asking us to come to the gym for the entrance ceremony. But hearing that voice made it hard for me to concentrate on what it was actually saying. Hey, where are the others? Wasn't everyone here earlier? Hey, come on! Everyone else went to the gym while you were knocked out. Well... But is it really a good idea to obey such a strange announcement? And... Yeah, it was weird, but what else are we supposed to do? Indeed. She's right. Whatever's going to happen, standing our ground here isn't going to stop it. You hear me? Okay, then let's head to the gym. Makoto, are you good to go? E yeah I was forced to wonder what was going on here. I was tormented by a dark feeling of foreboding, but I did my best to ignore it and hurried to the gym. Alright, what are we going to find in the gym this time? Everyone's back alive. And as soon as I entered, a weirdly cheery voice echoed across the room. 
Hey there! Howdy! Hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! We know who this is. <laughs> It's our quote unquote good friend, Monakumo. All right. I am Monakuma! You don't say. And I am this school's headmaster. I'm having deja vu. Nice to meet you all. Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. Listen up! I can't do it. It just can't be done. Huh? This entrance ceremony was supposed to be your chance to make your big high school debut. As the headmaster, I did my best to put on a happy face, but it's just impossible. You can only lie to yourself for so long, you know? But if you can't do it, you can't do it. I've lost my confidence, my groove, and there's no getting it back. <sighs> what? Why is he acting so depressed? I went from terrified to annoyed in no time flat. So, um... Wait, is that a teddy bear? Why is that? Th that teddy bear can talk! Unbelievable. Come on, what kind of cliched reaction is that? You people just keep on reacting the same this way. This kind of depressing. That's just making me more and more depressed. Even if the hardware is backwards compatible, I guess the thing doesn't go for the characters. Humans are so stupid, worse than any piece of software. Ugh, I'm just getting lower and lower, and there's rock bottom. Here comes the Earth's core. Hmm. This whole thing just feels really sloppy. Come on. You expect us to believe you're the headmaster? Stop screwing around. <clears throat> you're right, I screw around too much. I spent half my life apologizing for the other half of my life. <laughs> But I've been spending so much time trying to think of what to make you guys do, and I'm just lost. Meanwhile, I've been totally neglecting myself trying to laugh it off now would just be another lie. Where the heck is this going? <laughs> You've been n neglecting yourself? What does that e even mean? Hmm. I forgot to do something that was going to be a vital part of your greeting today. Ugh, what the heck? My stomach's starting to hurt from all this self-loathing. Um... He seems really depressed. What is it you think he forgot? Hmm. I don't think that matters. All that matters is finding a way out of here. You! No, I need to know. Tell us, what did you forget? Got it! If necessary, you should cancel the entire ceremony and take the time to prepare a proper one. Uh-huh. You're right. What I forgot was my backups. Are you okay with this? Backups for what? Hey! For me! On now. Duh! Um... Backups for you... what? Huh? Huh? I don't understand what you don't understand. In other words... A backup! A spare! An in case an emergency! Hey, you bastard! Okay, we get it. Hey, listen! So... If you can have backups, does that mean you really are a toy or a robot or whatever? Indeed. If I understand what he's saying, that would make sense. Hmm. No, see... Unbelievable. Oh, okay. I got it. I don't like to admit this, but... What? Yes, I'm a robot so advanced even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend Damn it. But I don't have any backups, so I can't begin. Huh? What can't you begin? The entrance ceremony? How strange. Sure, that too, but even more than that, I can't even begin your school life itself. Without a backup the first time I break, that'll be the end of everything for you guys. Hey, come on. I don't think any of us care if you break or whatever. Come on. Don't be stupid. Without a headmaster, how can your life here run smoothly? Oh. But did you not say that you are so advanced even NASA cannot comprehend it? <laughs> So you should not break so easily, am I right? Now I'm really angry! You guys are gonna break me. You blew me up in the prologue last time and tore me apart in Chapter 5. Huh? Prologue? Chapter 5? What is he talking about? He's breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> but 
But anyway, let's not worry about that before we can begin your school life here. I can't wait! I can't wait! I'm gonna have you guys love me some backup. What? Oh, come on, man. <sighs> What's he even talking about? Come on. You think you can give me orders, you living garbage? <laughs> I do. And while you're at it, uh -huh. I'll have you add a bunch of awesome bonus features. If you please. Like, maybe make me super handsome or eco-friendly, that kind of modern trendy feel. <laughs> or it might be good for a Japanese-style mascot like me to have a super cutesy, super mo backup. Just hold on. What, man? You're talking like we already agreed to help. You guys! Well, you're gonna, right? It's important that you grow as students, sure, but... <laughs> You also have to have the opportunity to help your teacher grow. <laughs> you think the fake inspirational crap like that is, is gonna get us on your side? Well... I don't think he's listening. He's just creating his own reality as he goes. No way! Man, if this is the kind of bizarre crap I can expect as a new student here, I'm just gonna go home. Hey! Hey! And how do you plan to do that? You saw the metal plates covering all the exits, didn't you? Um... So we really have been imprisoned in here. Hey! What is this? Why would you trap us in here? Let us out of here. Let's see... He said he does not have a backup yet. Why don't we just destroy this one right now? Ooh! <laughs> mm, so it finally occurred to you. Too bad! But I won't use, go out that easily. I'll use my NASA-level technology to run and hide, and you'll never find me. <laughs> you seem like a monumental waste of technology. Stop fucking around! All right, that's it. You son of a bitch! I'm not gonna be a part of whatever joke you're trying to pull here. Hey, you bastard! Yeah, who gives a crap about some backup or whatever? We're not here to take care of you. Hey! Hey! Okay, yeah, sure. I see what you're saying. Are you sure? Then, would you rather just start killing each other? What? Huh? What did you just say? Hmm. I believe you said something about us killing each other. <laughs> killing? What are you talking about? You! If that's supposed to be a joke, it's not funny. It's just stupid. <laughs> yeah, even just trying to make a point, that's taking it too far. Just a second. Come on, stop trying to freak us out just to get us to do what you want. What the heck? Just hurry up and let us out of here. Unbelievable. Uh, would you guys please stop nagging me? I want to go home. I want to go home. I don't believe it! I thought bears were crazy about our homing instinct, but you guys really take the cake. What are you gonna do? I guess you can't really help yourself. Now then. You're all part of that new wave enlightenment generation. You need a specific goal to motivate yes, you. Yes, indeed. Well then, here's a little spoiler. Spoiler. Actually, once the backups are done, we'll move on to the main event and you can begin your exciting school life. Isn't that wonderful? Once that starts, then you'll have the chance to trigger your escape flag. <laughs> what are you just talking about? Speak plainly. Aww. I don't know what he means, but he did just say something about escaping, right? Yes, indeed. See, I was totally clear. Now then. If you want to escape, you'll have to live here peacefully and build me my backups. Of course. And you can't just do it halfway either. I can barely contain myself. Build me a superior machine with flawless performance that thrills and delights me and you pass. Uh-huh. And don't worry about living expenses. You have all the food, clothing, and shelter you need. I can even personally guarantee your health and safety. Even if you get sick or injured, I'll treat you right away in the Monokuma Emergency Center. Uh, um... I, I don't think that's what we're worried about. Why do we have to do all this in the first place? Boy, <laughs> tough crowd. Whatever, stop complaining and just do it. Now then. With this, the entrance ceremony... Hold on just a second! ...hasn't even begun. I mean, you haven't even started your real school life yet. So obviously I can't welcome you yet, which means this isn't a proper entrance ceremony. Well now. Okay, I'm done talking for now. Please enjoy these ever-fleeting days of peace. Without another word, he was gone, 
leaving us in dazed confusion. <laughs> so, how would you explain what the heck just happened? I mean, seriously? Yeah, what was that? I'm totally lost. <laughs> We're t trapped here, right? And if we make some backup, then we can get out? It would seem... That seems to be the gist of it. If you think about everything that this Monokuma told us, you will notice that there are two main points. In other words... The first point is that we're trapped here in the school. And the second, more important point, is we can if we can create backups for him to his satisfaction, he will tell us how to escape from the school. Are you okay with this? But one thing we do not know is why he wants us to do this at all. Honestly. What was his purpose in imprisoning us here in the first place? What should I do? Yeah, what happened to Hope Speak Academy? Um... Did he get taken over by some evil organization or something? Um, listen... If that's the case, I'm sure the police will be here any time. I wouldn't hold your breath on that, Sayaka. However... But can we even be sure this really is Hope Speak? For serious? Listen, I'm sure this is all just some kind of elaborate orientation setup. They're like hazing us. Um, orientation? Seems like... But if that's true, it's in pretty bad taste. It's total overkill. Mm. He's right. If it's a prank, it's far beyond the bounds of acceptability. Uh, um... Okay, fine. In that case, what is going on? Mm. That's what we're trying to figure out. Um, you know, if he didn't forget to build those backups of his, what do you think he would have made us do? <laughs> Kill each other. That's what he said. Whoa. Hey! Don't freak us out, dude. Uh, who would ever... Listen to me! Everyone, just calm down. Quiet down and listen! He said we'll have plenty of food and shelter and we'll be kept safe, so that's good, right? Got it! If we want to get out of here, we all need to work together. Dude, shit. I hate the idea of being at the mercy of that bear. But what else can we do? Total pain either way. <sighs> that I would lower myself to serving that monstrosity. Oh. But it seems our best option is to calmly adapt ourselves to this new situation. Let's see. If this truly is something that Hope Speak is, uh, has put together for us, then I am fine with that. Actually. If that is not the case, and Hope Speak has been taken over by some other force, <laughs> it would be best not to blindly oppose them. <laughs> it gives me chills to think I'll have to live here along with you unwashed masses. That's fine. Well, whatever. I'll just have to make sure to finish things quickly. And then I will find whoever did this to me and wipe them from the face of the earth. You hear me? Okay, well, does anyone else have any objections? Got it! Silence gives consent, as they say. Who says that? Then it's decided. <laughs> like, I've never heard that before. Listen to me! Uh, from this point before, we all agree to work together to maintain a peaceful communal life. Sh sure? Uh, when I first got into Hope Speak Academy, I thought, man, I can't believe I get to go to this amazing place. But wherever I am now, it's 180 degrees away from whatever amazing place I'd made up in my mind. And that's how our bizarre communal life began. Alright, now what? Into the dining room. Once that was all done, we moved from the gym to the dining hall to talk about our future here. But... Hey, um... When he says we have to make him some backups, what exactly are we supposed to do? Actually... Yeah, he didn't explain any of the important bits. Did you call for me? That was just for convenience sake. <laughs> oh, now he's here? Hmm... Sure, I could have explained everything in the gym, but if I'd gone on any longer, Phew. it would have been totally annoying, right? It would have been like, hey, hurry up and start already. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure I agree with that. Well, now. So let me explain right now. What? I'm going to give you guys the next 50 days to make me a proper set of backups. What the hell? 50 days? That's like forever. Why so long? Well, why? That's for convenience sake, too. 
You guys would totally slack off if you didn't have a time limit. Humans give in so easily to corruption. What? Okay. What? But what about this whole backup thing? You said you wanted a bunch of bonus features, but... So it would seem. But it's super vague. Yes, indeed. I thought you might say that. From time to time, I'll give you a special concept. You can use that to design the next backup. What? What? Can't we just make one and be done with it? Hey! Of course you can't just make one and be done with it. Who knows what kind of violence you guys might commit against poor old me. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> hey, heck, just a second ago you were talking about how you should just destroy me right now. I heard you. You wanna, wanna, wing. Oh! Is this really necessary? Just a second! Fake cry all you want. We're not gonna fall for it. Huh? Fake? This is kind of depressing. No, I really am sad. All your heartless comments have made me sad. <laughs> but your teacher won't let it get to him. No matter what, I'll put you all on the right path. Hey, come on! And the right path would be... Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. To keep you all from slacking off out with performing project reviews as you progress. Well... Project reviews? What? 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 Never heard of a project review? Want me to write it down for you? Hmm. No, I know what it is. It's, uh... Hmm. It's meant to check our progress. In other words... So you're going to be checking up on us to see how things are coming. <laughs> That's just common sense. <laughs> yeah, it's totally common sense. I feel like I want to die right now. Yes, indeed! Classic Biakia. Okay then, hurry up and get to work. <laughs> I'm as excited as the rest of you to get through this and begin your real school life. Um... But, but um, if we fail our project review, is there some kind of punishment? <laughs> well, it can't be. Here it comes. Too bad. No, nothing in particular. What? Don't scare us like that. Are you sure? There's no punishment, but if you can't do it, you won't trigger that escape flag I mentioned. What? Plus, if you pass, I'll give you something awesome. I can barely contain myself! What is it? Well, you'll just have to get it and find out, but it's super fun, I promise! Now then, are you ready for your first assignment? Oh boy. So the concept for the very first backup I need you to make is... Ta-da! Right here. Uh... <laughs> Make a Monokuma Casanova? What does that even mean? What the heck? Exactly what it says. You know what a Casanova is, right? I want a good-looking version of me. <laughs> good-looking, but you're a bear. <sighs> and we better not think about it too much or we'll never get anywhere. What the heck? Anyway, how are we even supposed to start building something like that? And... Yeah, I mean, where are the materials or whatever? Hey, um... I can't do everything for you. Look around the school yourselves for whatever you might need. Isn't that wonderful? But, uh, oh, but as an extra special service, I will give you some materials. Just this one. I figure you could use at least a little practice before you start on the real thing. Yes, indeed! Okay, so here you go. So we got... A marble slab and three aluminum cans and two chisels. Uh, maybe I'll have you start by using these materials to make a Greek statue. And after that, <laughs> if you combine this with a Greek statue, I think you'll wind up with a truly ravishing monokuma. So more, uh, uh, two bags of screws, two wrenches, and five chisels. Bring it to me the absolute instant you're finished. No pit stops. Okay, have a nice day. Okay, so select construct and let's make a Monokuma Casanova. Okay. So we, we want to make that, but even the latest Parisian models pale at my balanced body. So we need a Greek statue, okay? So where is a Greek statue? Okay, so we make this, right? Now, now we can make 
the Monokuma Casanova. Hmm. Hmm, a Casanova's supposed to be good looking, right? Is this good looking? Subjective opinions aside, you created the backup and completed the assignment, so let me give you some tickets. Alright, so we got five trip tickets, whatever those are used for. I'll explain how they work later, so make sure not to throw them away. Alright. Hey! Hey! So, now do you get how to do it? <laughs> if this is all there is to it, this is going to be a breeze. Hmm. Indeed, I'm sure we can handle this. <laughs> Even if we don't get it right the first time. With enough practice, I'm sure we'll get the hang of it and figure everything out. Hmm. Hmm, you seem pretty confident. Maybe I spoiled you a little too much. What are you going to do? But there's nothing I can do about that. I'm just so sweet and kind and sincere. Well? So now you're ready to gather your own materials, right? You can handle that much, right? Yes, indeed. Well, even if you decide you can't, I'm not going to help you anymore. Okay. We don't need your help. We're all going to work hard and do our best and make your stupid backups and get out of here. You're getting all riled up. I'm glad to see you getting all fired up, but... Don't overwork yourself, or I'll be the one who ends up taking care of you. <laughs> Take plenty of breaks, drink lots of fluid, promise me you'll be safe, and make your teacher proud. Oh. You don't have to remind us. We have no desire for you to take care of us. It's true. Also, make sure you keep everything clean. If you can't do it yourself, I'll make you do it. Yes, indeed. This is where you live, right? You need to put in the effort to keep it nice and tidy. Huh. Uh. Uh, what a pain. Uh. Well, to be fair, cleaning is part of normal school life. Now then! Okay, so your next project review is coming up. Uh-oh. Um, okay, so the next concept is... Ta-da! The same thing! Do it right this time. Okay. So... We don't have any more supplies this time, though. So this time we're going to have to get supplies. What are tasks? Each person can engage in one of three activities each day. Go to one of ten locations to search for materials. Each location will have its own unique materials for you to collect. Uh, if you clean, this raises your level of cleanliness. If this reaches zero, you will receive a penalty. And rest. Uh, take a break to restore HP, which decreases whenever you collect or clean. Okay. Uh, character stack. Each person has three stacks. HP, a person's physical condition. If this reaches zero, they won't be able to act for three days, so keep a close eye on this. Um, so we have zero S M L X L. <laughs> Collection level. Determines how efficient that person is at collecting. This will increase as you collect. Max level is 9. Cleaning level. Determine how efficient the person is at cleaning. This will increase as you uh, clean. Max level is 9. Okay. Alright. Um, so, let's see. Control. Select an activity. Is A or D. Okay. Select the activity, A or D, W, S, select the character, O, Q and E to toggle between boys and girls, tab to begin activities, F1 to show help screen. Okay. Okay. So, alright, before we do that, let's see what we need. So, first we have to make the Greek statue. So, for that we need marble slab aluminum can, and chisel. Okay, so let's see what we can find. Marble slab, rest, clean, class. There's screws there in the class. Where is the... Okay, so there is, in the art room, we can get a marble slab and a chisel. Okay, so... Um... See if we can get a marble slab. Okay, so we can't get a marble slab anywhere else. So we gotta go to the art room for that. So let's do that. What else do we need? 
besides the marble slab, we need uh, aluminum, three aluminum cans and a chisel. I think the chisel also came out of the art room. Let's see. Um, okay. So, down one. So we are at, I think we're at an okay level for HP. All right. We also will need to clean. Some people will need to clean. So bag of screws, aluminum cans, yeah, the chisel there. All right, where do we want to gather? So we know we need a bag of screws, so we'll do that for you. You, Biakia, can clean. Um, we can't have everyone sleeping at the same time. So we'll let uh, Mondo take a nap and then Leon, what's he gonna get? We'll get him to go gather in the kitchen. Um, Hero, what do, you, or, uh, what do you need to do? Uh, not Hero. Um, where can we send you? Maybe you should explore another area that we haven't we don't know what's there. You can gather some materials there, you can clean, and you can rest. Now let's go to the girls. Alright, so Sayaka can clean. Kyoko, I want to go look here. Uh, Hina can go to the nurse's office. Alright, Toko can clean. Um, Sakia. Alright, so you can go to the garden and see what's there. And Celeste can clean. And Junko can go to the gym. Actually, maybe I'll make Celeste go to the music room. There's a lot of stuff. But, I think we're good. Alright. So, let's begin. Yes. Let's see how that works. Alright. We're getting lots of stuff. <laughs> Boy. Okay. So let's see how we did. Did you get enough supplies? It looks like you're really working hard. Well now. Well, right now it's free. It's time for free time. Do whatever you want. Even a strange child is of a boy like you might stumble on some bittersweet love if you're lucky. Uh -huh. You can also use the trip tickets I gave you to go adventuring with your friends. Although spending all this time building your friendships and deepening your bond, hey, um... it might just make things that much harder later on, you know? Alright, you weird bear. I know you're busy having fun and all, but do you have a second? Monokuma touched on it just now, but at this point, you can now spend time with whoever you like. However, as these scenes play out, you'll notice they're exactly the same as in the main game. So you might notice people talking about having to kill each other. I know that seems strange, but this is school mode after all. It's a bonus, in addition to the main story. So please keep that in mind and try not to judge us too harshly. Anyway, take your time to explore and enjoy. Okay, what would you like to do? Let's go meet with someone. Who should we talk to? Hmm. Well, we're not talking to Monokuma. I want to... I think I want to do Sakura. What would you like to do with Sakura? Let's spend some time together. All right. I see. Even if I don't feel like talking, you'll still stand by me? <laughs> I still don't understand you, Makoto. Without saying a word, I stood by Sakura. 
Sakura and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Sakura a present? I don't think I have any presents for her, but let's look. Alright, let's look and see what I have that she might like. Uh, I don't have any of that. I think I already gave her one of those. Um, let's see. A pretty hungry caterpillar. The fun plane. <laughs> Sacred tree spray. Yeah, I gave that one to her. Um, I think that's a it. All right. Yeah, so we don't have anything. Yeah. I'm sure I don't have anything. Hey! I suppose I can share this with you. I'll share what? Huh. The story of the man who is stronger than even me. What? Hmm. I've never told anyone about this before, but I think I can tell you. Wow, so there's someone out there even stronger than you? Mm. The truth is, I have a lifelong rival. He only fights in underground tournaments, which is why nobody knows about him. But he is truly the strongest man on the planet. I faced him in battle after battle and lost every time. He, he's that strong? However... These days, fighting has become its own science in a way. People studied it, it evolved, and eventually it was established as a formal sport. The idea of being invincible disappeared. Whoever develops the next great technique becomes the best. Well. But even in this modern era, he never used that kind of scientific approach. His only teacher is real combat. He laughs in the face of combat sports. No one can come close to him. Martial arts relies on a certain amount of luck. A lucky punch, a misstep can decide who wins. But none of that matters to him. He never loses. There's no strategy that can beat him. Many have studied him. All have lost. Is this guy really human? Mm. His name is Kinshiro. As he described it to me, he inherited what he called the ancient assassination art. Assassination art? He sounds super dangerous. Well. And the story doesn't end there. Will you hear what I have to say and not laugh? Well, laugh? Why would I laugh? <coughs> Just looking at your face, I can tell you'll laugh. Huh? So in the end... Please, give me some more time. I need to gather my thoughts. But, but... I'm sorry. Please, try to understand. Even I... I, too, have the heart of a woman. She refused to say any more and left me standing there. The heart of a woman? Alright. So we upgraded... Her uh, report card. We unlocked the skill Tranquility. Alright. Feeling generally confused, I went back to my room. Yeah, well. Only one person for free time? Um, this is a school announcement. It is now officially nighttime. Get plenty of rest and get ready to work hard again tomorrow. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. All right. You're working your eager beaver butt tough, huh? Let me give you something as a little reward. See Get ya later. Show. Well then, have a nice day. All right. Let's see. Can we make anything yet? If we got enough for it, we, if we can do the Greek statue yet. Okay, so we still need, we didn't get the marble slab or the chisel, and we still need more aluminum cans. Okay. So we definitely need to go back to the art room. Alright, um, what is our, um, alright, I need to look and see how to monitor Okay, okay, so I am seeing some people's health go down. Okay. What are the health levels again? So we have yellow is the medium. Okay. Alright. 
So, what you would be... Well, let's go back to the boys. Alright, so... Um, cleaning is easy. What can we do? Um, let's send you to the art room and try and find some more things. Okay, maybe the flag... Okay, I see, I see. I don't have to remember. The flags at the side are going to show us where we can find supplies that we need. That makes sense. Alright, uh, what... How clean are we? Okay, so we still definitely need some more cleaning. You can help clean. Um, you can help clean. You cleaned before, so we got the bag of screws. You can look for, um, aluminum can. Um, we got the wrench. What else? Alright, we'll look so, for some more stuff in here. Alright, the girls need something easier. Um, maybe we'll just let you girls rest. Alright, you girls can rest a little bit. Uh, we need more cleaning, though. Let's let Kina clean. And, okay, so uh, Kyoko can still look at the physics lab. Alright, I think that sounds good. Let's see how it works. All right. I wonder if there's anything I'm supposed to do at the bottom three while they're sleeping. Let's see. We got our chisels. Nice. I hope we get, um, okay. That's it. We did not get the statue that we need. Okay. So let's go meet with someone. Who are we going to talk to now? Um, you know, we never actually got a chance to do any kind of discussion with Junko. Because she, like, got killed after the very first, um, uh, 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 free time. So, let's see what she has to say. Mm -hmm. Oh, are you asking me out on a date? Ah, <laughs> uh, you're such a little cutie. I guess I went on a date with Junko. <laughs> Junko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Junko a present? Um, well, we'll see if we got anything. Nothing is jumping out that she might like. I think maybe not. I don't know enough about her. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't know enough mm. about her. Listen, I just want to make this clear right up front. Don't get the wrong idea about any of this, okay? Huh? What do you mean? Yeah. I mean, I hope you're not expecting anything from me. Yeah. Gotta keep my virtue safe, you know? Huh? Wait, you mean... No, no, I'm not expecting anything like that. Come on. I figured you're not that kind of guy, right? Looking at you, I get a total Omega male vibe. <laughs> yeah. But still, they say even the tamest guy can turn into a wild animal. So I figured I'd say it anyway. A wild animal? Hmm. Don't ask me why, but I seem to attract guys like that. It's probably because she's, um, flash so, um, flashy. What the? They call me up super late at night, all like, hey, let's hang. Like, I don't know what that means. Let's hang. It sounds so simple. But why super late at night? And why does Junko seem annoyed at it? Oh, you just mean hanging out. Mm -hmm. Huh? Did you just come to a decision or something? Oh, uh, no. Forget it. Are you for real? Anyway, so we all get together, but the whole group's uh, full of dummies. Keeping creepos like that away is like a full-time job, you know? Yeah, it must be tough. I mean, you're a model and all, so you must be really popular. Mm -hmm. Wow, Makoto, you actually get it. <laughs> you do get it, right? You totally get me. I do? Totally! Listen, maybe I can introduce you to some of my friends sometime. 
So, what's your type? You're super passive, right? So you need an aggressive girl. For real? You think, uh, yeah, I think that'd be good for you. Someone who'll go after you and not give up. N no I don't really. Yeah. I'll find the perfect girl for you as soon as we get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're as excited as I am. Uh-oh, we're getting hooked up with someone. Uh, Junko seemed really excited as she walked away. I don't really get it, but I guess she likes hanging out with me. All right. We got some skill points. Once we are all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Okay, so maybe... Okay, now it's going to be nighttime. Um, this is a school announcement. So we'll get to talk to um, one person for each time. So I think I'm going to focus on Sakura and max out her report card. It is now officially nighttime. Get plenty of rest and get ready to wear cardigans Okay, tomorrow. then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Yep. Did y'all miss that? Don't let the bed bugs bite. Oh, man, we had it perfectly clean, although I think we <laughs> overcleaned it. I know what I have to do, and I'm going to do whatever it takes. Toko seems to be feeling pretty good. All right. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? You're working your eager beaver butts off, huh? Let me give you something here as a little reward. Cleaning, maestro. See ya later! Well then, have a nice day! Okay, so I don't think we need nearly as many people cleaning. Can we make anything yet? I think we still need... Ooh, we can make a microchip. Nice. We still need marble slab, aluminum cans, and chisel. Alright. Let's see. So, I think you, you two can still go gather. We don't need to everyone to clean. Um, let's look. We need aluminum can. Y'all can go look for aluminum cans. I guess you can sleep, even though, you know, you already slept a whole bunch, but, um, let's see, let's look at our HP effect, too, um, so the, any of these would be, We do need a lot of aluminum cans, so maybe we'll have a uh, hero do that too. Um, and you're good. You could go out, venture out a little further. Um, aluminum can. What else? I think we're going to put as many people as we can on those areas. Woo! She's like super charged up. Alright, so you can like go way far out. You can go to the actually go to the music room. That sounds good. Alright. Um Kyoko, you've worked hard. You can rest. We definitely need people cleaning, so um I think we'll let uh Sakura Sakura go. Where? Maybe she ought to go to there as well. The boys don't seem to be doing too good a job getting what we need. And then you can clean. Well, we don't need that many people cleaning, I don't think. Um, what else? Yeah, I, I, think, I think that's good. Lots of people in the art room, because that marble slab seems to be very tough to come by. Let's see if we get, and we'll see how clean we get. We got two people sleeping. Um, we did get our marble slab. Okay, so we do need maybe one or two more people cleaning possibly. All right, let's go talk to Sakura again. I want to max out her report card. Alright. 
And let's spin some... Oh, can we use a trip ticket? Where do we want to go? Um, where Sakura would want to for sure go to the rec room. Or maybe not. Oh well. Here we are at the rec room. There's all kinds of games and stuff to do here. All this makes me feel like I'm not at school. It looks like nobody's here right now. What should we do? Uh, Hope's Peak really is amazing. Kind of boring, huh? I'm not sure about any of these games. <laughs> of course. Most of these are meant to assist in picking up women. Are you saying you're no good at them? Well, why don't we go somewhere where we can both enjoy ourselves? I think we both had a pretty good time. Yeah, I thought that was going to be like, um, a, like, exercise room. I guess I, I was misunderstanding it. Today was quite fun. If you feel the same way, there is no reason we can't do this again. So then. Well, we'd better head back. All right. Now it'll be bedtime. Um, this is a school. Okay. Let's okay, go on then. to the next day. Sweet dream. They don't need to hear you say the same thing every day. Okay, man, it's like halfway clean. We definitely need to get uh, cleaning. But let's see how we're doing. I think we can... Okay, we still need aluminum cans. Is that like the last thing we need? Okay, so you need sleep. You need sleep. Okay, so uh, you can clean. You can clean. And you can look for aluminum cans. All right, so three of y'all looking for aluminum cans. And Chihiro uh, can clean as well. Now let's look at the girls. Okay, um, so Hina definitely, uh, definitely needs to sleep. All right, Sakura. Um, yeah, let's not use up our energy. Let's just collect it in the kitchen. All right. There's no sense in heading out that far. Let's just either go to the kitchen or clean. Okay. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Let's make uh, Junko clean as well. Okay. So now everyone's just having a, a chill day. Let's go ahead and do that, see if we can get our last two aluminum cans. All right, you guys get your rest up. All right, come on, aluminum cans. We're getting stuff cleaned up. Oh man, he's going faster. Got one. Oh man, we didn't get very much stuff. All right. Well, we're going back to Sakura. Let's talk to her again. All right, let's spend time together. All right. <laughs> Would you like to put your body into motion? But my lessons are more than superficial. Are you sure you can keep up? Sakura put me through a vigorous or a rigorous training session. Sakura and I grew, grew a little closer today. I still don't have any presents, so I'll have to get some. All right. Um, this is a school announcement. All right. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. All right. We're on day five already. Time is going by quickly. Um, I think we still need one more aluminum can. But I think we might be set for everything else. All right. So let's see. Okay, so you need rest. You need rest. Everyone got all suckered out cleaning. 
sorry, but you guys need to clean. Um, I want to see something else. It said something about um, determining. Okay, so the collection level and the cleaning level. Okay, where is the cleaning? Where are those levels at? I don't see that. Um. Oh, oh, okay, I see it. It's literally right there in front of my face. So he's pretty effective at cleaning. Alright, because the max level is 9. I think we just got to build people up so that they are good at cleaning. Okay, so back to aluminum cans. Alright, so now you guys are all set. Alright. Now, I think as we get better effectiveness, then people won't have to, uh, we won't have to have quite as many people cleaning. Okay, uh, you can clean, clean. All right, so that looks good. Um, yeah, all right. I think that'll work. We got everyone who needs to rest, resting. All right. Now hopefully we'll be able to get uh, aluminum can. I love how we're working up the levels of the cleaning and stuff. The cleaning is going up really fast. All right. Yes, and we got our aluminum can. So tomorrow we'll be able to construct our um, first statue or our first backup, whatever. All right. Um. You know, let's also talk to Kyoko. Where's Kyoko? She's way over here. Alright. Let's spend some time together. Alright. Correct. You want to spend time with me? However. But I don't have anything to say. Are you okay with that? So we're gonna spend time in silence. <laughs> Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? I... Not right now. I don't have... I gotta get more presents. Oh, Kyoko. How do you stay so calm, Kyoko? What? Calm? I mean, you never lose your cool. You never show emotion. <laughs> you say that, that like I'm some kind of inhuman beast. N no, I didn't mean it like that. Hey. Well, I am human. I do have emotions. I simply keep it to myself. I don't show it in my face or in my voice. You make that sound way easier than it is, especially in these kinds of circumstances. That's what we have to do. Well, you should consider trying. Your naive honesty makes you an easy target. She keeps saying things like that. It's kind of irritating. Isn't there anything I can say to get a reaction out of her? In other words... Protect against deception and never allow others to read your emotions. And whoever stands before you, don't let them push you around. Correct. Remember that. And that's why you hide your own feelings? But... But that's such a waste. What? Huh? Your smile is just so cute. <laughs> Hiding it behind that mask is such a waste. A bright smile is way better. That's... What are you talking about? Oh, we made her blush. What? C cute. It's much too soon to be bringing up things like that. Ah, uh, looks like I got a, you to show a hint of emotion, didn't I? What? <laughs> you, Makoto, you. It can't be. You, you deceived me? Huh, wait. Why? I don't believe this. To use the word cute to deceive someone. That's just too cruel. This Sorry, I just got carried away. But, but still, I did deceive you, but it's not like it was a total lie. <sighs> you see how easily you yourself are deceived? Huh? Hey. You would never just come out and call someone cute like that. Completely out of character. You thought I wouldn't pick up on such an obvious ploy? What? You mean... I thought I tricked you, but I was the one getting tricked? <laughs> <laughs> Watch yourself, Makoto. You're honest to a fault. With that, she was gone. <laughs> the most formidable opponent. That's funny. 
We just unlocked the skill Neural Liberation. All right. With Kyoko gone, I slowly made my way back to my room, and then it's going to be nighttime. Um. And then on to day six. Okay, then. All right. I think we're doing okay on the cleaning. So today's the day, huh? I guess I'd better review everything one more time. The concept was Monokuma Casanova, right? Yep. Let's do the Greek statue. And, uh, what? Now we need another chisel? What? Really? I thought, okay. Well, guess we gotta get more chisels. Alright. Well, that was unfortunate. You better start taking this seriously. I know you can do better than this. Anyone could. Whoopsie. Sorry to interrupt again. How'd your first project review go? Not so good. We missed two chisels. If you found it difficult, I have some good news. This mode has its very own new game plus cycle. Only your collection level and cleaning level carry over, but you'll be able to take another shot at it. Even if you're not great at stuff like this, as long as you don't give up, you'll make your way through it. Still, success is possible in a single playthrough. Maybe you can accept the challenge someday. <laughs> Alright, so the next concept is... Right here. Okay. Oh, I see. We have a certain number of days to do it. Okay, so Monokuma Butler. What do we need? Dust cloth. Binary converter. Is that a... Okay, so that's the thing we're going to have to make. All right. So let's go ahead and you need to rest. You can start collecting things. We need we need to definitely go to the electronics lab where um, the computer lab. Because we got to have dust cloths. What else did we need? A bunch of... Um, binary converter is going to require programming textbooks and notebooks. So we're going to need like um, six notebooks. Is that right? Uh, oh no, we're going to need two for each one. So ten notebooks. Alright. Well, we got a lot of notebooks to collect. Let's see where we can find them. Okay, notebooks here. Let's definitely make sure we collect... Uh, all right, can we get dust cloths any closer? Let's see. We are going to need more programming textbooks. And Biakia is good at going to the library for sure. Uh, okay, you need to sleep. All right, so you're going to learn to clean better. You're going to learn to clean. And you're going to clean better. We need you to collect, so you can look for notebooks. Alright, you need to sleep, sleep, and sleep. Alright, you can keep clean. well, yeah, you can keep cleaning, uh, you can keep cleaning. You can help Yakya in the lab, and what else do we have? Uh, wrench. We need wrenches, so you go get the wrench. Okay, so let's see how, how this works. We still have a lot of leveling up of our skills to do, so... I love how they're, like, mining in the classroom. Alright, we got two programming textbooks. I'm not sure, but that is pretty good. We got several notebooks. Alright. Let's go meet with someone. Let's talk to Sakura again. Alright. Now. Uh, let's spend some time together. And let's see what she has to say now. Well then. <laughs> you know, Makoto, you seem a little thin for a man. How about I help you bulk up a bit? 
you know, work out with us, right? Uh, Sakura subjected me to a harsh, borderline cruel training session. <laughs> Sakura and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? I don't have any. Alright, now it's time for bed. We're getting fast at this. Okay, then. So now we should have six more days, I think. Let's see if we can construct... It's a holiday. Hmm. Ahem, I have a super special announcement for you all. Today is... What? Your day off. Hey, um... I know, half of me is black as a black hole, but that doesn't mean I have a black heart. I've decided I will give you all one well-deserved day off a week. No work. It's true. And when I say no work, I mean it. All work is absolutely prohibited, okay? Yes, indeed. Okay, you're dismissed. Okay, well then. I guess we're just going to have some free time. Let's spend our day off with... Hmm. Let's talk to uh, Kyoko again. We'll build up Sakura and Kyoko. Can we use a trip ticket with her? Where could we go? Hmm. Where would she find it interesting? Alright, dining alone with someone is a surefire sign your friends. Shopping is great for stress relief. Um, soft sounds of smooth jazz set a relax relaxing tone. Alright. <laughs> you like nature, right? Then please enjoy this totally artificial nature. Alright, well, I guess we'll go have a meal together. Alright. Here we are at the dining hall. This is the one place where we all spend a lot of time together. Hmm, what to do? Would you like some coffee? Indeed. Yes, that would be nice. Thank you. Hey. Does that mean you're a coffee person yourself? Of course. <laughs> then why don't we discuss our favorite types of coffee? I'd be happy to test your knowledge. It's true. If you surpass my expectations, then let's see. That's fine. I'll brew a cup especially for you. How's that sound? It looks to me like she had a really good time. Nice. <laughs> I had no reason to believe I'd have this much fun with you. In fact, I was I think I was able to clear up something that had been hanging over my heart for a while now. Not that I can say for sure. Thank you. Thank you, Makoto. <laughs> well then, should we head back? Alright, well that was fun. Let's go uh, talk to Sakura now. I wanna see what our report cards are looking like, by the way. So what is Kyoko's looking like? So we have four, oh, we have four pages. Nice. I wonder how many pages are in one. I bet we have a bunch on Sakura. Okay, so we have five on her. Hmm. I wonder if it's going to be like nine is the max. That seems to be like the max for the skills in, in the school mode that we're doing. Let's spend some time together. All right. So then. I just got done exercising. Now would be a good time for a break. Would you like to get something to drink and talk for a bit? Uh, Sakura and I sat down for a tea and a calm, relaxing conversation. Sakura and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? I wish, but I don't hey. have any. So, have you decided? Decided what? Huh. Decided not to laugh at my story. Oh, you're talking about Kinshiro? I mean, I honestly don't know what there is to laugh at. So then. Then join me in my room and I will continue my story. Just the two of us. Huh? Just the two of us? In her room? Sakura practically drags me to her room. Oh, wow. Sakura's room is pretty much exactly how I would have imagined it. But hanging out in a girl's room, just us getting kind of nervous. And it being Sakura makes me nervous for a whole other reason. Hey. Is there a reason you're glancing around? 
Oh, so sorry. Well then. Anyway, I shall continue my story. Oh yeah, the one and only Kinshiro. That's right, my lifelong rival. And <coughs> my, my first love. First love? <sighs> Did you just laugh? N no, I definitely didn't. I mean, it's pretty surprising and all, but you made the choice to tell me this story. So of course I'm not going to laugh. I would never. I'm ashamed of myself. I underestimated you. I'm sorry. I beg your forgiveness, Makoto. N no, that's totally not necessary. Hmm. I just didn't want to be laughed at. Can you imagine a girl like me using the word love? So in the end... And being shy about saying it is even more girly, right? I creep myself out, to be honest. <laughs> but you are a girl. You're allowed to have a feminine side. Well. But my goal is to become the strongest warrior on the planet. Maybe, but you don't have to be manly to find that kind of strength. <sighs> uh, are you okay? Mm. Y yes, I just, you made me remember something. Kinshiro once said something very similar. I've forgotten about that. Hmm. But there's no point to recalling his words now. I really am a girl, still dragging his words with me like a chain around my neck. Huh? What do you mean? He might already be gone. Right now, Kinshiro is... <sighs> he's fighting. Oh, jeez, I thought you were going to say... Well. He's fighting an illness. Huh? Hmm. When they found out... They said he only had six months to live. But six months has come and gone, and he's still fighting. That's just how he is. He would never let a disease beat him. He has to get better. He's the strongest human alive. I admit that. No, I believe that. The Sakura. Huh. I visited him once. He'd lost so much weight. He looked like an entirely different person. But do you know what he said? He told me now I was the strongest human alive, that I had taken the title. He said he'd return someday to get the title back. He said I'd better not let anyone else take it. However... He didn't need to say that last part. I'll never give up that title, not until he gets better. And when that day comes, I will defeat Kinjiro and earn that title for real. And that's why I have to get stronger. I had no idea. Mm. That's my biggest reason for becoming the strongest human alive. I'm sorry for wasting your time with such a long-winded story. Well. I'm not even sure why I told you. I think that somehow you remind me of him. Huh? Me? Mm. Well, in certain ways. Your build is obviously different, but you both have a strong core. Strong core? N no, I... <laughs> You don't have to be modest. I know strength when I see it. Okay. Okay. I feel like I've come to understand Sakura so much better. I think my, maybe we finally become friends in the truest sense of the word. Alright, so we've updated our report card. Nice. Oh, and we got an achievement. Was that the max level? And now it's night time. Our holiday is over. Um, this is a... All right. Okay, then. Sweet dreams. And Off to bed. Now I want to see what we can build, because we collected some stuff, and... Let's do it! <laughs> I feel like I could do anything. You must be super energized. All right, so we can <laughs> use him. Isn't that wonderful? If you're working your eager beaver butts off, huh? Let me give you something as a little reward. I don't know what to see do See ya that. later! Are those part of the construction? I don't know. But, um, let's see if we can make any binary converters yet. Um, okay, so we can make two. Alright, so we still need three more. And we need motors. Where do we get motors from? Um, oh, okay, so restore a little bit of HP. Restore all HP. Oh, okay. Cool. So, I am understanding that tools. What do the tools do? Okay. 
So we need to motor. Where is motor? All right, so motor, we can build some. All right, we'll need another soccer ball. Why do we need a soccer ball for motor? All right, anyways, so we can go back to collecting, I think. All right, so you definitely need to go out and get stuff. So you can go to the gym for sure. Okay, um, let's see. We definitely need more notebooks. We'll keep you guys there. Um, you're getting really good at cleaning, so you can clean some more. All right, we'll leave you guys there for cleaning. That looks good. All right. Now, you no longer need to sleep. You can... Um, I think you can go help get... Is there any soccer ball closer? I don't think so. We need dust cloths, too. Alright. So, to the gym with several people. And now... Notebook. Let's, let's let you clean. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six people cleaning and everyone else collecting. All right, let us, let's do that. Let's see how we do. I think we got shafted a day with the holiday. Look at Leon, he's just like super, <laughs> super mode, super Saiyan mode. I am not seeing, oh, well, we got stuff down here, maybe. I don't see any soccer balls, though. Ooh, we got some level ups. Nice. All right, time to go meet with people. Okay, so let us go talk to Kyoko. And we're going to spend some time together. Because we're really close to maxing out her report card. So... Alright, I suppose a change of pace is necessary sometimes. That's fine. Fine then. Why don't we take a little break? Alright, I spent some time with Kyoko doing nothing in particular. Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. Uh, I don't have any presents to give her. And now it's night time. want to see if we can build any uh, other items. This is a school announcement. Hello, sir. Uh, mouth mouth? <laughs> We'll hook them in. Okay, then. Sweet dreams. Right. So I think we lost a day with the holiday. <laughs> oh, now Sayaka's like super Saiyan mode, I bet. I'm going to give it everything I've got today so we can all get out of here together. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm just having fun with this uh, school mode here. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? All right, we got some nonsensu bean. See ya later. All right, now what can we build? We only have four days left, so we gotta pick up the speed. All right, we need to build motors and binary converters. Mm, still need more notebooks and more sucker balls. Okay. Let's see what we got today. Alright, um, notebook. Why are, you're here getting... You can come in here and get notebooks because we don't need the other stuff. Uh, cleaning. Uh, I'm nice, I'm... Uh, Uminico for 50 hours. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I've been reading it. <laughs> reading the, the, uh... The dialogue, you mean? We need soccer balls. Okay. Okay, she has to sleep. And there's... Yeah, so we need more people getting wrenches. Although you can go and get um, balls. We'll get wrenches here. Alright. Uh, we don't need you here. You can get wrenches. Alright. I think that looks good. 
Now let's see if we get any soccer balls so we can build a motor. I don't know what kind of motor requires a soccer ball, but oh, we got one. I don't remember how many more we need. I think two more at least. Alright, got two. That's good. We seem to be doing pretty good. Got some more level ups. Yay! Alright. Time to build up some more relationships. Guess we'll talk to Junko again. Alright. Let's spend some time together. In the art room. Alright. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you asking me out on a date again? I guess we're <laughs> doing that again. You're such a little cutie. So this is our second date. <laughs> I guess I went on a date with Junko. Alright, Junko and I grew a little closer today. Um, no presents. I still don't this know much about bad. you. I am seriously freaking bored. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die from being so bored. Bad, 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 bad! I'm infected. I've got terminal boredom disease. It, is it really that bad? Aww. I just hate being bored. Hate it. Yeah. I never noticed how much I hate it. But once we got trapped in here, it finally hit me. That's pretty recent. Are you for real? I'd rather be living homeless on the street than stuck in here. Homeless? Totally! Yeah, you know, like the hobo vibe. I've done it before, you know. You have? Yeah. Yeah, it's a long story. And now you're a model? Hmm. Well, that's a long story, too. How many long stories do you have? But more important... Seriously, if I had to choose between staying here and being homeless again, give me the street. <laughs> I love taking her off, but welcome in, G... G Beatrice. <laughs> I... I guess I can understand that. I mean, you're probably in more danger here than there. The hell are they talking oh, about? Oh no, homelessness is totally dangerous. You never know when a pack of wild animals might show up. Wild animals? What? Oh, I don't mean literally. I mean people who attack the weak, who want to hurt you. The world's full of animals like that, you know? Hmm. But I think having to live like that made me way stronger. Hearing someone with actual experience talk like that really has a lot of weight to it. But more important... Sorry, that got kind of weird, huh? All I was trying to say is... Uh, when are we going to get out of here? Hey! Whatever, uh, guy dummy trapped us in here. Are you listening? When are we gonna let, uh, when are you gonna let us out? Just tell us what we gotta do to get out of here. You can even just tell me. I know how to keep a secret. Yeah, she sure does. What the hell is this? Huh, nothing. N uh, nothing, huh? Pisses me off. Well, I mean, there's no way they'd make it that easy. Uh, but listen, you're not thinking of doing anything drastic, are you? Hmm. Drastic? Oh, you mean the whole kill someone thing? <laughs> Don't worry, I could never kill someone. Sure. <laughs> what, do I look like I would? Do I seriously look like a killer? No, that's not what I meant. Really, you don't. For real? Right, I don't, right? <laughs> <sighs> But anyway, are you saying you were worried about me? Gotta say, Makoto, that's kinda cute. You almost killed me with cuteness there. Huh? <laughs> Come on, I'm just screwing with you. You didn't take it serious, did you? But you know, there's something about you. I don't get sick of talking to you like I do most people. Let's hang out again sometime, okay? <laughs> there was something playful about the way Junko walked away. I still don't get her. Am I getting played somehow? Yes, yes you are. <laughs> but you'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> Alright, we got the uh, skilled trance. Well, that makes sense, because I feel like she was trying to put us into one. Alright, back to our room, and then nighttime, right? Yep. And then back to work. Um, this is a school announcement. Alright. It's okay, nighttime. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. All right. Day 10. I think we're down to three days now. I'm getting kind of nervous because I don't know if we're going to be able to finish the, the butler in time. So let's check for 
the motor again. I think we can make... Uh, oh, we need more wrenches. Oh, man. We got enough soccer balls, I think. Because... Yeah, okay. We have enough soccer balls. No more soccer balls. We only need... Um, wrenches now. And a lot of them. Okay. Now, what do we need for the binary converter? Alright, we got three programming textbooks. That's all we need. Alright, so we should be able to make two more. Okay, so we just need two more notebooks, I think, and then we're good on that. Alright, and one more dust cloth. So mostly, we just need um, the wrenches. Alright, so let's make sure you need to go to bed. All right, let's make sure we do need, uh, do we need notebooks still? I forget. Um, binary converter, okay, we need two more notebooks. That's it. So we do still need notebooks, but I don't think we need three people in there. Um, I think we can move you to collect wrenches. All right, you're still cleaning. You can still clean. And you can collect wrenches. All right, we are, we still do need a dust cloth. Is there anywhere closer we can get a dust cloth? Wrench, dust cloth, that's three. Okay, so it really doesn't matter. I guess we'll just go to the computer room because there's, well, there's still items in both of them that we haven't got. Okay, well, um, we'll just stay here for Junko. Oh, wait, no, she's got to rest. And Sakura's got to rest. Um, so, oh, this is the weird friendship version. Uh, this is the school mode. Uh, <laughs> I, this is an interesting mode. Uh, it's like you have a little build mode, and then you get to work on building up your relationships with all the students. Like, it feels like in the base game, you didn't have a whole bunch of time to build up the relationships. There was very limited opportunities, and here, it's like you get the opportunity after every uh, build cycle, after every time you do a task. So I think that's pretty cool. All right, um, we need more cleaners, I think. Yeah, we need more cleaners. All right, you need to go rest. You can clean. And yeah, you can collect there, that's fine. All right, so I think that'll be okay. Now let's see how well they do. Get, the, get that plate clean. We got more soccer balls now that we don't need them. Got a wrench. Good. Good. Wrenches are good. No, we're almost done. We're getting it pretty clean, though. Alright. So I think we'll be able to make something tomorrow. Hopefully. But we need, like, so many more wrenches. Alright. Um, let's... Let's go back and talk to Kyoko again. Alright, let's build up that relationship a little bit more. It's true. I was just about to head to the dining hall to get something to drink. <laughs> Did you want to come with me? Sure. Let's do it. I went to the dining hall and drank some tea with Kyoko. Alright, Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. I would like to give her a present, but I don't have one. <laughs> Alright, so hopefully we're reaching that max level soon um, where we can be friends. This is a school announcement. Yep, it's bed. Okay, it's then. time. We gotta go to bed. Alright, how many days we got left? <laughs> oh, good. Hina's uh, all supercharged. I feel like I could jump in the ocean and swim around the entire coast of Japan. Alright, Hina seems to be feeling good. <laughs> What are we going to get today? Wonderful. Nonsensu bean. Alright, I think maybe we See might have to later. use that on people that are needing to sleep today because we only have two days left. 
All right, let's check and see if we can make anything. We still need another notebook to make that. And we can, we can make our, wait, do we need, we need a motor, right? We still needed a motor. One, yeah, okay, so we still need motors. We need so many more wrenches. It makes me sad. All right, and we need, what do we need for the binary converter? Just one notebook, right? One notebook and one dust cloth and then a bunch of wrenches. Okay. Now, we definitely, let's see. Um, I want to see what the consumables do. Can you only use this on, like, one person? Oh. Oh, okay, okay. So, can we use it? Like, how do we use these? I want to see how we can use these items. I'm not going to do any more. I see that, um, what is personal effect? Oh, inspect and use the items you've obtained. Okay, so, okay, okay. Restore consciousness. Alright, so who can we recover today? Can, I, I got it. Let's see if we can make any of the full health ones. Um, Radbull. So, how many of these can we do? Four. Okay. Let's make some more sandwiches. Alright, now, let's use the Radbull on people, because we got to have people up and working. Alright. Three. Four. Okay. And now we'll do a sandwich on you. Okay. So now everyone can work today, which is what we need. Alright. Now, we need one dust cloth and a bunch of screws. We only need one notebook, so I don't think we need everybody working there. So let's wrench. Okay, so you can stay there. You're good there. Let's get as... Well, actually, yeah, you're good. You can clean. Alright, now the girls can collect a dust cloth. Uh, we'll try a dust cloth there, maybe? I only need one, but we'll put two people there just to try and improve the odds. And what was the other thing we needed? Um, the notebook. Okay, so we got that covered. Alright, so we don't need... You can go there and you can help clean. Okay. Now let's see if we get enough items. We're running out of time. Come on, guys. Get what we need. Go fast. We need a lot of wrenches. Come on, guys. We got our dust cloth. No more wrenches. Got three, so we can build another um, motor, I think it is. Good. Got lots of level ups. I don't know that we're going to make it. I feel nervous. All right. Who should we talk to? All right. Um, how about let's talk to the hero? Let's spend some time together. All right. Yay! I really like talking to you. I spent some time talking with your hero, and we grew a little closer today. I don't think I have a present for Chihiro. Let me look, but I don't think I have anything um, that would work. I need to get, I need to go visit the shop and get some more uh, gifts. I have so many that aren't um, discovered yet. But I don't think I, I don't think I have anything that would. What was this? Uh, maybe we'll we'll give that huh? to him just to see. Hmm, a present? <laughs> Yay! Thank you so much. Seeing Chihiro so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Oh. What's wrong? That seemed like a pretty heavy sigh. You know. Oh, sorry. It's just, everyone else is working so hard to get us out of here, but I'm no help at all. 
that's not true at all. But... It's okay. You don't have to try and make me feel better. I know it's the truth. I'm completely useless without a computer in front of me. At least if I were a little stronger or something, then I'd be able to help somehow. Listen, you'll get your chance. I'm sure there'll be a time when your skills will come in handy. So you don't have to worry so much, okay? Huh? My skills might come in handy? <laughs> if I get a chance, I'm going to work super hard to chip in. When it comes to computers, you can count on me. You're right about that. No matter what anyone might say, you're still the ultimate programmer. Speaking of which, how did you get into programming? Huh? Well, I mean, I always assumed most programmers were guys, so... <laughs> well, is, that, is it really that weird? No, nothing like that. I was just curious what got you interested in it. I mean, why programming of all things? You know? Why? I mean, there isn't much of a reason. I've always been kind of weak, you know. I was never able to run around with my friends or anything. We had a computer at home, so I'd kill time by poking around with it. And I found out I really liked it. Um... My dad was a software engineer, and he had a bunch of programs on there that he built. I found one of them and started playing around with it, adding stuff here and there. And that was how I ended up making my very first program. Interesting. What kind of program was it? Um... A kind of database software. A database software. You know? A user could communicate with it, and it would take that information and find what they were looking for. It was a way of interacting with the computer without having to physically type things out. She said it could understand the user without them having to type things out. So that would have to be, uh, voice recognition. Telekinesis. <laughs> use voice recognition, is that it? <laughs> yep, exactly. No, we use telekinesis to talk to the computer, even though that has nothing to do with that. Uh, telepathy, maybe. You could talk to it, and it could actually talk back. It was a lot of fun. I, it didn't even really sound like me. I would get totally absorbed in talking to it. It's like a kid recording themselves and playing it back again. Um... The key part of the program was getting it to recognize what I was saying. The recognition accuracy was the most important thing. Japanese is kind of hard, so it was pretty challenging. But you were able to do it eventually? You're right. Yep. And right around then, my dad found out I'd messed with the software without permission. Whoopsie! I thought I was going to get in so much trouble. <laughs> but all he said was how impressed he was. The software was able to take natural speech and pull out key search terms and retrieve information. My dad said it worked so well it was going to change the face of software interaction all over the world. Yeah. The development costs are still pretty expensive, so it hasn't spread that much yet, but... Anyway, I've been addicted to programming ever since. <laughs> I can't tell you how happy it made me to be able to make others happy. It's obvious how much you love computers. You seem to just light up when you start talking about them. Uh, uh sorry, I spent all this time just talking about myself. No, I, I had a lot of fun learning more about you. Huh? Really? Yep, yeah, I hope you'll tell me even more next time. <laughs> okay, let's hang out again sometime. It's a promise, okay? All right, nice. We unlocked the skill algorithm. <laughs> All right, back to the room and ding dong. Yep, time for bed. All um, right, Morfuma, we'll go to bed. It's okay time. then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Of course not. All right. One more day. I hope this isn't the day, because we don't have everything we Hey need. there. Ooh, good. Don't know why, but I'm feeling totally pumped. All right, so Junko is in Super Saiyan mode today. One more day. So tomorrow, we have to be done. So let's see if we can do what we need to do. Motor, man, we're going to have to stick, like, everyone on wrench duty. I don't even know if it's going to let us do it. I don't know. All right, so we need one binary converter. Done. Now we just need motors. <sighs> All right, so we need two more motors, which means we need 
Six more wrenches. Oh boy. Um. Got a couple people that need some food. Everyone's gotta work today, sorry. Alright, everyone's gotta work. You can have some milk. Alright. Alright, got everyone up. Everyone has got to do some work. And all we need is wrenches. So, everyone that's doing tasks has to go collect uh, wrenches. Alright. All right, to the physics lab. Everyone. I think I might even send... You can go... Uh, I don't need your energy cleaning. I need it getting this wrench, because we got to get it. We got to get six. So that's three and three. Mm, I might even put... Oops, no, I don't want you to rest. I cannot hit the right buttons. We're going to put Hina on the physics lab, too. Alright. It's not going to get as clean as we might need, but we've got to get the wrenches. Oh, good. We just, okay, good. Woo, we got them. Now, the question is, are we going to be allowed... Look at all those wrenches come in. Oh, my goodness. The question is, are we going to be able to actually construct it before he does the check? Like, I don't know. I feel like... If he doesn't let us, then what was the point of letting us have that last day of building? I don't know. Alright, let's talk to Kyoko again. I feel like we're getting close to maximum level on her. Alright. At the pool. So... I suppose a change of pace is necessary sometimes. I guess we're just going to hang out fine. quiet again, right? Fine then, why don't we take a little break? I spent some time with Kyoko doing nothing in particular. Alright, we're a little closer. I don't have any presents, I'm sorry. Oh good. Can we finish this already? Huh? Finish? So... If we truly want to trust each other, we must truly know each other. That's what you believe, isn't it? Well, yeah, but... Hey. I understand why you feel that way, but when it comes to me, I think you should probably give up. What? Why? So... Because I don't have anything to talk to you about. Does that mean you don't trust me? If you get too involved with someone, you're apt to lose any sense of good judgment. That's what we have to do. I learned that lesson myself all too well. Personal experience is a ruthless teacher. Personal experience? Hey. Surely by now, you've noticed what I always wear. Something unique to me. What is it Kyoko's always wearing? It's the gloves. It's those gloves, right? Indeed. That's right. Well, why did you bring them up? Does it have something to do with getting involved, like you mentioned? So... Simply put, there was a time when I grew attached to someone, and I made a bad decision. I was forced to learn a very powerful lesson, and these gloves are a daily reminder of that. So on these gloves, I swore to never make the same mistake again. S sorry, but I'm not sure I completely understand. Can you tell me any more about it? Maybe then I could... However... I'm sorry, but I can't. That's the end of it. The end. So then I never got to learn anything about her, about how she feels. Anyway, don't get too depressed over all this. The reason I'm not willing to talk about it isn't because I don't trust you. In fact, I do have faith in you, which is why I decided to tell you what I have. Correct. I want you to understand why I can't tell you. I can't show you myself, just like I can't show you what's beneath these gloves. I can't remember the last person who saw what was beneath my gloves. That long? Indeed. That's right. And I can't imagine a point where I would ever show the, uh, where I would show them ever again. Only someone I could call family would be worthy. Family? Listen. Are you going to volunteer? Huh? Hmm? Got you again. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> you really are foolishly open. She did get me again, and laughed at me again. But, 
I've never really heard her laugh out loud like that. I think that must be her natural laugh. It is, right? That wasn't fake. So maybe in the end, she did show me some part of herself. Maybe she showed me her true feelings. Whew. I know I always tell you to be careful and protect yourself, but to be honest, I hope you don't change. I prefer you this way. <laughs> this is you. In the end, I never uh, did really figure her out. But at least I got a little bit closer. All right. Nice. And I think that was the maximum rank with Kyoko. Very nice. So we will go ahead and see what the next day brings. Hopefully, um, this... hopefully it will let us build okay, then. Sweet the last dreams, motors. Every... If we just immediately fail, I think we do get a chance before we go in. So today is the day, huh? I guess I better review everything one more time. Okay, yeah, we get to build this. Okay, whew. I was going to be sad if we did all that work and couldn't build it. So, how many did we need? One more. All right, there we go. We did it. One Monokuma butler. Just a minute. So this is the Monokuma butler, huh? Why is the bottom half just a vacuum? Hey, um... Is that what you think when you hear the phrase Monokuma butler? Wouldn't you go in the direction of, you know, an actual butler? Or at least a maid? <laughs> yeah, that'd be a nice two birds and one stone situation. Clean and cute. Unbelievable. Anyway, do it again. <laughs> it's a total failure, but you did technically finish your assignment, so... What are you gonna do? I guess I'll give you some more tickets. All right, the eight trip tickets, nice. So the next concept is cooking ah! Mama Kuma. <laughs> <laughs> it's important for us to cherish each day and create a string of valuable memories. Sakura seems to be feeling pretty good. All right, so the next thing that we will have to do next time is going to be the cooking mana, uh, Mama Kuma. And we'll have seven days to do that. But that is going to wait for the next episode, guys. And uh, that will be all for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this. It's a little different from the main game, but I think it's kind of fun. And I really like having the opportunity to build up the relationship with the other characters. But, um, yeah, so I can't wait till next time to see how many more of these crazy robots we have to build. And I hope you'll join me. Until then, bye, guys.